Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through how to authenticate your Next.js application via GitHub. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I'm gonna go to github.com and I'm gonna click here on settings quickly. Here we have a bunch of options. You can choose developer settings quickly. Here you can see OAuth apps. From here we can directly allow user to log into a Next.js application using Next.auth. So that's what we are going to do in this today's session. And for that, I might need to create a new folder on my desktop. So let me do this quickly. Let me close this up. Let me create new folder quickly. Let me name it uh, next auth underscore auth hit enter drag your folder on the top of your VS code and open your terminal. Let me clear the screen quickly and I'm going to hit yarn. Make sure you to check your node version. Uh, it should not be 19 or above than 18. Uh, and most importantly, there are few supported version by next year. So I'm going to change to version 18.12.0 would be great. So I need to use NVM use and this is how I can proceed. And for now, I just need to create yarn, create next. Okay. And I need to specify the name like this, or I can use dot in order to, oh, uh, no, then I need to use app. Oh, uh, yarn. Okay. Am I missing something? Not yarn, sorry. Yarn create next. Uh, app okay and then dot yeah so this is how I'm gonna create my next year's application and then I need to uh, install next year's auth so simply search for next year's auth and you will be greeted with very first link so you just need to open this thing or uh, for now I need this one next hyphen auth dot js dot org so this one second one and now you just need to click here on get started till the complete code is already available we just need to use that uh, code in order to proceed so for now i'm gonna i'm not going to use typescript i'm not going to use eslint i'm just going to use core next years with the uh, normal react react dom and next libraries that's it I might need this auth library. That's why we are using supported version 18.12.0. And uh, if you have NVM, then definitely I would suggest to not use 19. 18, they have uh, announced as a LTS version. So long-term support you will get in node 18. So please use that. And uh, yes, I'm done with this thing as well. Now I'm gonna grab this thing i'm gonna create auth inside api so inside api just paste hit enter and this auth should not be started with hyphen now grab this quickly paste this over here save this okay now go here inside your app underscore app dot tsx or if you are using TypeScript, you just need to replace this by this so you can provide session to inner components. That's it, nothing much, okay? And this is session provider, we will come from next auth. So don't worry about that. It will like a, a state management, it is managing session for entire application, nothing much. Login button you should have. So they, they have the components already. So that's what I'm gonna grab and now then you can decorate according to your choice like this. I'm gonna add my button. Okay, let me grab this code quickly and let me explain you. This is nothing, this is simple button that you have which is going to have a session. If you have session, then you will get data and based on that data, you will either do sign in or either do sign out. This is it, nothing, just 
one condition of session and session if there is a session which is not empty then it will proceed simple as same goes with the uh, restricted if something goes wrong definitely you need to come to restricted page let me see inside that api i need to create restricted.js like this let me grab those thing and let me explain you quickly what we do here okay so uh unstable gate server session if something goes wrong definitely uh it will like it will suggest this to content okay you can access this content because you signed in you must be signed in to view this thing okay as i told you the state management inside app okay this is where we define the outermost thing okay so like this this is how it will we just need to check this is restricted and this will be only accessible once you log in this is it nothing else and once you go back once you quickly go here you will see inside that you just need to add one callback here here you can add multiple things according to your choice but i'm gonna just simply grab this session so somewhere here i can log it that yes everything the data that i'm getting uh, so let me print as it is so we'll see inside the terminal what's going on this is it and here as well i just need to use log in inside that i'm gonna have a token and that's it so or else i can get that account with token so like the way so nothing i'm not gonna use that thing uh and one more thing i just need to move this here okay so make sure to write after providers so this is how i how i'm gonna write and i'm gonna grab the last one which is access token dot jsx inside components that i'm gonna paste right now oh not here just here and now i just need to grab once again the code where we just have a use session access token and div where you will see the access token if you go inside uh this this thing we'll use here somewhere okay oh might be somewhere okay for now let's go back uh so yeah this thing i need to create here uh, for environment variables we need to create something which is dot env dot local okay and make sure to this is available inside your git ignore file so don't forget to check your git ignore and here it is defined already if you search for dot env dot local this one so next year by default it will check for this and for now i'll go back to my next yeah and here and here instead of this i'll say uh the default port is http this next auth i don't want next auth i want github id and github secret so let me see if i can get github not gitlab actually let me go back to use github id is equal to github secret secret is equal to now i just need to go back i need to create a new auth app where i just need to provide test app okay test one i'll say home page would be my localhost colon 3000 once again so as it is you can paste here you can use callback authorize callback url according to your choice this is all your choice what you use here and just register the application now uh, this is this must be valid so you need to add http colon slash slash in front of that and in front of this thing as well register again and hopefully this time it should work now what i'll do i'll just quickly grab this id i'll paste this over here and after that i'll click on generate new client secret button i'll grab those one time secret i'll save here make sure to save this thing you will like you will lose this thing very easily and uh, you need to regenerate for the next time so here you see we have a zero users because we haven't done anything yet so if i go here if i start yarn dave i might get some errors because we are doing this for the very first time okay 
uh, and one more thing if I go here in index I have bunch of things that I don't need like footer header that I'm going to remove and I might remove this export default completely because I need to get this sign in sign out based on that I'll create something if I get the session then I'll show something okay not like this I just don't want to write that much of code instead I'll write some basic things let's see what kind of suggestions we are getting we don't want that much of code so let me honestly remove this entire thing and if I can have suggestion like next so through that we can get something oh it's taking more than usual let's synchronize okay by the way I am using git uh, github copilot if you are not familiar about it don't worry don't get used to it this is something that you should not use all the time if until and unless if you have a very uh, if you don't care about your programming skills that's what I suggest you I'll suggest you guys uh, so for now I'll return I'll make a normal div okay inside that div I'll say uh, if if session then you need to return something okay and you will have a button if not then you will have another thing you are not signing that's it nothing else just finish uh, hopefully I am not missing any things so I can proceed with yarn dev quickly and by the way I can use hyphen hyphen turbo inside my package.json because nowadays um, hyphen hyphen let me use this I'm not sure about this turbo but it would be really very fast if everything uh, okay port 3000 somewhere is in use because I was running another project parallelly let me stop that one here and let me grab this quickly let me start yarn dev once again uh, because uh, this is we have defined this to inside that github while creating o auth thing and this is how turbo is really very fast you can see inside just 2.2 2 ms milliseconds you got hot reload this is extremely cool and after in next year's 14 i guess you will get turbo back as a default instead of wave pack or some other things okay so i'm i'm not gonna use this for now i just wanted to show you guys that's why i have used by the way i'm gonna stop this and i'm gonna start this thing again so that's how i just need to go to localhost colon 3000 hit enter now you can clearly see i'm not signed it yet i just need to click here and once i get access if I click here I'll, I'll able to see my name like this so this is how I have logged into my github now if I go here on OAuth hopefully I should get one user so that I'm getting right now so this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and you can use this thanks button as well in order to contribute even one dollar is enough to grow our channel and see you soon in the next video thank you so much guys good day